Most people use computers in their everyday lives without even knowing it. DVD players, CD players, even VCRs all have computers. These are called embedded computers. Take my car for instance. It tells me my temperature, my fuel range, even how far I have to go until my next service. Open source provides a way to develop these dedicated systems with all the benefits one would expect. Low cost, ease of customization and open standards compatibility. You can easily get access and you get other developers, not only a single company looking after your needs but the whole world. So chances are somebody out there has the same needs as you and there will be a solution tailored for your needs already. Frogfoot is a Cape Town based tech firm run by Abraham van der Merwe and Johan Boerte who discovered open source at university. They provide a variety of solutions for their clients, which range from small businesses to large corporations. Well, an embedded system is a device where the actual computer is hidden from the end user. Um, an example would be a cell phone or a wristwatch. Here, for instance, I have a device called the Bandwidth Manager, which is used to uh, prioritize traffic on a customer's list line. Inside, we have a board. Um, this is a fully fledged computer, it has memory and a processor and network cards and storage media. Um, so where Linux comes into the game here, yeah, or open source software, is we install the operating system on here. Yeah. The user will never actually interact with that, but it's a fully fledged operating system, the same one you would run on your desktop, just stripped down a little bit more to uh, add to perform certain functions. Even large industries have looked to embedded systems for solutions. A few years ago, some casinos had a problem. Too much money. Well, too many coins. Managing the millions of coins and tokens in machines was a logistical headache. They turned to Nami Tech in Johannesburg to create a smart card solution. Now we started manufacturing um, to begin with uh, what we call our smart cashiers, um, which is pretty much a bridge between uh, where you can um, in to insert cash and it issues you a smart card with value on it. It's pretty much a memory card with a security key on there. The smart card is inserted into a card reader running Namitech's embedded Linux in the machine. All transactions are verified and authorized on the central server in the casino. Instead of coins, it's the card that pays and receives payouts. Adrian and his engineers chose Linux as an operating system mainly for security reasons. Um, but it's every step, I mean you also got sort of devices reading at the um, sort of cash out machines that, that can read this. You've got machines that loads value onto this that has to read it. So every component of your system there has to be secure. Um, for a lot of this we also use Linux on the server side for exactly that, that thing as well that we can lock down specific features on our server. Dimitrios Savides of Powerband works mainly with embedded systems that make life a little easier. We could take a house or a building or an apartment block and uh, link in a power line modem, which, which basically allows you to create networks over a 220 volt cable system. Uh, it'll use your electricity as a, as a conduit, you know, as opposed to cabling the entire building. And it's all controlled really from a, from a firewall type embedded platform. So if you're sitting at work and you decide you want to turn the chicken on an hour before you get home, you could basically log into your house, see the entire infrastructure and say, turn the microwave on, turn the front porch lights on and turn the cool pump off. In the not too distant future, all gadgets will become mini computers. What that means is that everything will talk to everyone.